Ron Marinaccio. And Marinaccio is one of my favorite relievers. I think we missed him hugely in the playoffs last year. Um, Wandy probably wouldn't have been working as hard pitching every game in that DS had Marinaccio been around. Um, Marinaccio had a really good season in the major leagues, 205 ERA. Um, but if you look at the expected numbers, about a 27 X ERA, 3.2 FIP. Um, very interesting, very dominant. He walked a lot of guys, but he seemed to never give up that big hit. Uh, and he's looked really good in spring so far. What What's your feeling on Ron Marinaccio right now? The uh, River Avenue vampire is someone that I'm a big fan of. Uh, he's still heartbeated as you possibly can get. Um, despite being such a young dude, he like really holds his own and like just keeps himself gathered. Um, which you can't say for a lot of pitchers that come to New York City, they get frazzled very easily under the lights. He never showed once that he was uh, overcome by the just the, the emotions of the crowd or anything like that. Um, so that very much, despite being a reliever, reminds me of like Corey Kluber, for example. Um, I think they have very similar temperaments, and I think being around guys like Mike King is only going to help him and get better. Um, this is a guy who I expect big things out of, and I think he's only going to get better and better over time the more he gets opportunities at the big league level. I think it would be a um, a mistake to let him start in like AAA or something like that. But this dude's the real deal. Yeah, and the tough thing with him is that he does have three options. No, he has two options remaining for the Yankees to use. So he might be one of those pieces, even though I think he's an established major league level talent pitcher uh, right now. And he's really our number five or could potentially even put him higher on that on that list that we're going through. Um, you can see the Yankees use him, put him up and down depending on the injuries, depending on who needs time um, because they can burn his options. Uh, something that I don't know if it scares me or impresses me about Marinaccio. He's had a consistently high walk rate uh, throughout the minor leagues. And that was evident in his 44 innings uh, at the MLB level last year. He had a 4.91 uh, walks per nine. Um, but what saved him was that he had a 0. 0.41, like 0. 0.41 home runs per nine. So mm. he was walking guys, having them get on base. Um, but his whip still stayed really low. Um, and he wasn't giving up runs. And that's because he wasn't giving up home runs. And he was he had a really low expected slug. So it, it wasn't happenstance. Like, But he was missing barrels. And yeah. that's something that has been a bit higher for him in the minor leagues, but not much higher. Like he's sat at below one um, in terms of home runs per nine, which is really good for a relief pitcher that that's, you're talking about one home run every 20 appearances yeah. for Marinaccio <laughs> at, at the number he was at last year, uh, which usually it's about one home run for every seven to 10 appearances for a relief pitcher. Um, that's really solid. So that's someone who will work his way into trouble, but also out of trouble. So you, you can spin it two ways. He'll inevitably give up more home runs if you're pessimistic, or he'll naturally progress like all relievers do into having better location and not walking as many hitters, becoming even more dominant. Yeah, I mean, there's a guy that's already in the system who's unfortunately injured for us right now that I think of as someone who he can like potentially blossom into as he gets older, and that is Tommy Canley. Um, they are both very much two change-up centric pitchers. That is their dominant pitch. If you watch Tommy Canley's, it's got fantastic depth to it. The same thing with Marinaccio's, and he's only going to get better with that the more he throws it. Um, and then the velocity gets up to 96, 97. Who's to say he can't get another one to two miles an hour being upwards of 97 mile an hour guy? Um, I think that is a very solid comp for him. And I could see him just really kind of learning his tools to the point where, like you said, he knows how to keep the ball on the ground. Um and he's only going to get better with the walks as he continues to throw innings. And I think that's all it comes down to with him. Um, sure, he has the options, but I think there's so much needed out of a specific type of pitcher that he fits that mold really well at this very moment in time. Um, and I would honestly, if you're coming down to him or a fringe guy like uh, Greg Weissert, I would pick Marinaccio to call up between the two.